A man went into a hotel and walked up to the front desk to check in. The woman at the desk gave him his key and told him that on the way to his room there was a door with no number with no number that was locked and no one was allowed in there. She explained that it was a storeroom and that it was out of bounds. She reminded him she reminded him of this several times before allowing him upstairs. So he followed the instructions of the woman at the front desk, going straight to his room and going to bed. However, the insistence of the woman had procured his curiosity. So the next night, he wait. He walked down the hall to the door and tried the handle. Sure enough, it was locked. He bent down and looked through the key wide. Looked through the wide keyhole. Cold air pressed through it, chilling his eye. What he saw was a hotel room, like his, and in the corner was a woman whose skin was incredibly pale. She was leaning her head against the wall, facing away from the door. He stared in confusion for a while. Was this a celebrity? The owner's daughter? He almost knocked on the door out of curiosity, but decided not to. As he was still looking, the woman turned sharply, and he jumped back through the door. Hoping she would not suspect he had been spying on her, he crept away from the door and walked back to his room. The next day, he returned to the door and knocked, looked through the wide keyhole. This time, all he saw was redness. He couldn't make anything out besides a distinct red colour. Unmoving perhaps the inhabitants of the room, he was spying the night before and had locked the keyhole with something red. He felt embarrassed that he had made the woman so uncomfortable and hoped she had not made a complaint with the woman on, on the front desk. At this point, he decided to consult her for more information. She sighed and said, Did you look through the keyhole? The man told her that he had, and she said, well, I might as well tell you the story of what happened in that room. A long time ago, a man murdered his wife in there. And we find... And we find that... He, even now, whoever stays there gets very uncomfortable. But these people were not ordinary. They were white all over, except for their eyes, which were red. 